Jock and everyone walk together in the mysterious space. Here is full of magical charm. A huge statue reached out its hand. On the left is a female warrior. On the right is a Buddhist statue. There are also black monsters on the road. Their bodies flow with black liquid. They pass through the sky tunnel and arrive at a giant, interlaced factory. Everyone shows their superpowers in the factory. The ghost raises its hand to create illusions to confuse the enemy. The man rushes out to beat up the enemy. The woman heals the injured companion. Jock is lying on the ground, unable to do anything. Everyone continues to move forward, arriving at a mixed area of factory and ICC. Everyone heads towards the submarine. They grab torpedoes on the submarine. Jock pulls on an iron chain in the water inside. There are various fish. The man notices three monsters running towards them in the distance. He slides down the submarine by pulling on the iron chain. Everyone runs together to escape. The old man rolls down while holding the torpedo. In a moment of danger, Jock suddenly ponders. A slide appears above to catch the old man. The old man safely slides down to the ground while holding the torpedo. The old man tells about Jock's superpowers by the campfire. The boss stood up and asked Jock to build an island that monsters cannot find for everyone so that they can survive better. Jock nodded and agreed. That night Jock continued to train his superpowers. He created a beautiful building. The woman was very excited when she saw the building. Jock and the woman got closer and closer, holding hands and started kissing. Jock stole the spotlight from the man. The man stood outside feeling jealous and showing an evil smile. The next day, everyone set off to find a place where they can build the island. Jock walked through a thick fog and saw a huge plane hovering in the air. Suddenly, a monster charged towards Jock. Jock fell to the ground. The tank picked up Jock, and everyone ran out. The man came running and pushed Jock down. One of the man's hands turned into a monster's shape. He had turned into a monster. The monster ate their companions. A horde of monsters emerged and slaughtered humans. Jock escaped with four companions. Suddenly, Jock felt dizzy and passed out. Returning to the real world, when Jock opened his eyes, he saw his boss and his girlfriend. He could leave with his girlfriend. Jock agreed and lay back on the hospital bed. He rushed towards the place where his companions were hiding. Jock built a bridge and crushed the monsters. They continued moving forward and reached the edge of a cliff. The boss approached them. Jock closed his eyes and began constructing his enormous island. A bright light flashed, and a divine-like island appeared before them. Jock raised his arms towards the sky, and buildings rose from the ground, creating a dreamlike city. Everyone was amazed by the spectacle before them. The final bridge was completed. Jock asked the boss to release them. The boss revealed their true selves in the real world. The ghost, in fact, was a girl who had lost all her family members to starvation in a slum. The tank had a family tragedy due to a car accident and became mentally ill from excessive drinking. The astronomer was autistic and unable to leave his home. Jock is a mediocre architect and nobody likes his work. Only in this virtual world can he fulfill his dreams. Everyone starts to waver in their desire to return to the real world. The boss begins to say that now that they all know the truth, he cannot let them leave. Tank turns into dust as the boss shuts down Tank's life support system in the real world. Jock runs over and grabs the boss. The boss flicks his hand and sends Jock flying. The astronomer's gun is also knocked away by the boss. The ghost beside them turns into ashes as well. The remaining three continue running, searching for an exit. They find the exit and walk out. At this moment, the astronomer also turns into ashes and disappears. Only Jock and his girlfriend are left. The boss approaches them and continues to brainwash Jock. Jock pushes his girlfriend away. A slab of stone falls down. The boss reaches out and smashes the stone, grabbing Jock by the neck. The boss slowly turns Jock into ashes. Suddenly, someone stabs the boss from behind, killing him. It turns out that the one who killed the boss is a monster. The same companion who had saved Jock at the beginning. With the help of his companion, Jock approaches the Gate of Awakening and returns to reality. The people in the hospital are astonished as they approach. They look at the professor beside them, who has become a vegetative state. Jock returns to the real world, becoming an ordinary architect once again. He rests at home with his girlfriend. Suddenly, he pulls out a flyer from a magazine on the table. It is an advertisement for that hospital. It turns out that he also wants to return to that alternate world. 